Well, they should get, in good time, a full pack of information. We, we have a 12-month ruling agenda, and there are the regular items for reporting and for accountability purposes, which will include the finance pack, it will include a report from the chief executive, it will include a series of KPIs for the business, which the number one item being safety, then we will move through the KPI pack to customer satisfaction and our security of supply situation, etc. Then we will move to more reporting, which is not regularly every month, but will, for example, cover update on risk management. It will cover business development issues. It will cover uh, progress on major capital projects. It will cover issues with our economic regulator that are current, and so on. And then there will also be a strategy piece where papers will be supplied about perhaps a new M&A target or uh, um, some modifications we believe we should seriously consider to our strategy because events, external events, have moved in a certain direction. So. There is the regular reporting and the less regular but nevertheless programmed reporting and that's all reflected in the rolling 12-month agenda. It is the opportunity for board members to say to the company secretary or to me, I'd like to see the following on a forward agenda so that we don't end up at the end of a year when I have my one-to-one -one with them say, well look, is there anything that's really worrying you? Is the shoe pinching somewhere? And they will say, well, you know, I'm very upset we haven't given enough time to so-and-so or a subject. And uh, the reality is they should have used the 12-month rolling agenda to convey to us that they would have liked that. So that's their opportunity.